gem of California. Coming through. Yeah, I don't know what session we're on. It's probably session five or something like that. It's 70 degrees, it's sunny, it's the middle of February. It's insane. It is crazy windy out here. We had a lot of issues with you know, dirt being blown across the track and that sort of thing. It's one of the students on his 701, so that's cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. We're out here running laps. Uh, I'm shooting some videos today. It's just another beautiful day. So without further ado, back to the corner camp. So I'm going to put uh, some numbers here. Everybody's taking the class before is going to get the answer right here. Okay, so I got numbers one through five. Uh, where's the beginning of this turn? Where's the turn start? Just shout out a number. One, two, three, yeah. All right, so it's a trick question. The turn starts wherever you start to turn the motorcycle. That becomes the start of the turn. So what you can do is you can evaluate your line with this, and you can fix it with this. Most likely you're turning in too early, so you would turn in, and you know, even if you think you're turning at the sticker or whatever, if you're, if you're, not, if you're transitioning slower, you could be turning in at the sticker, and you could still be having the effect of like turning in too early. Um, so. Just evaluate your line with that and then fix it with this. If you're having problems, most likely you're turning in too early. Simply turn in a bike length or two bike lengths deeper and most of the time that'll fix the problem. The fleet has just been getting really dialed in the last few months. Uh, we got a bunch of fresh bikes. Everything's running really smooth. We had all, used to have long maintenance tasks that took up all day and now, um, now we're down to just the basics, oil and chain and brakes. Um, we just got another freshie in today, so I think we're about to open up the dirt and break it in. Yeah, it's my first time, I think, on any dirt uh, event on super moto biking. I liked it. We, I enjoyed learning new things and really enjoyed it. I love it out here, yeah. What, what better deal can you have? I keep trying to get all my friends out. He's, he's number two that I've brought out before. Yeah. yeah. And I got more coming. Hey guys, Brian, so gal, Supermoto had a full field, full field for the dirt sending camp. Uh, I don't know, 25 riders. Without further ado, send it! Woo! Yeah! Get it! Yeah, so this is my 2021 Husky 701 Supermoto. Um, I've had this for about six months now. I, I would say that if you were going from a DRZ to something like this, I mean, you're gonna pick up maybe 20, 20 more pounds, but you got twice the horsepower, twice the torque, twice the suspension, twice the brakes. I mean, it, it's a total animal for a track like this. I, I think this is probably much better suited to a, a truck like Chuckwalla or something more mid-sized to larger. Um, just because it's got it's got so much power for, for Adams, I find myself overcooking turns. I want to see his after when he. If you yeah, I want to do a before this, and after. Yeah, that'd be a lot of fun. Check in on him after uh, he hops on this. I can almost guarantee him to be faster on the DRZ oh, yeah. than the 701 for you sure. Mind if I take that? Oh yeah, we'll do a, we'll do a swap. See how we do yeah. and trade back and forth and do a comparison from there. Yeah, so I was uh, pleasantly surprised, kind of, kind of as I thought, I'd be faster on the DRZ than I was on the 701. 
Uh, DRZ is just such a, a tame animal compared to the 701. I mean, 701's got probably twice the horsepower um, with a negligible amount of additional weight. So the DRZ is the fastest bike ever produced. That's right. <laughs> Um, I, I wasn't running a lap timer or anything like that, but I, I'd put money that I was faster on the DRZ than I went in the 701 any day of the week. Yeah, I, I think it's just a lot, a lot more to, uh, a lot less to manage compared to the 701. You've got half the horsepower. Uh, they're on Q3, so you got a ton of grip for the amount of power that you have, and uh, it's probably just a, a comfortability thing as well, just how much I ride the DRZs with the school. Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing is just come out, take the school. Brian's a fantastic instructor. You're gonna get a ton of seat time here at the school. Um, I, I took the school one time, and then after that, it was six additional times before I realized that I was hooked on supermoto. I mean, I've ridden uh, super sports, sport bikes, stuff like that, and nothing compares to the amount of fun and how much you'll learn on a, on a DRZ, especially at the, the price point that Brian has here. So sign up, and uh, I, can't, I guarantee that you won't regret it.